there's a quote from Ecclesiastes. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live. Nowadays, nobody believes in evil. Even with what is happening in Europe, they want to think that reason and common sense will prevail. But evil cannot be reasoned with, and it is real. It walks the earth. What brings you to Sea Drift Island, Monsieur Lane? My... my health. I, I am... Well, I, I was the vicar of a church near Brixham. I became ill. I had to leave my church. I came here to heal among the historic churches and religious ruins of the area, like this old monastery. We dates back to the Middle Ages. The order was most known for producing a passable brandy, I believe, but they never flourished. I expect that was because of the site they chose. What is wrong with this site? It isn't the only Christian edifice erected on top of more ancient construction, as I'm sure you know. In this case, there was a Roman temple here, 500 years before the monks arrived. Unfortunately, it is believed it was a temple to Bacchus, a particularly nasty cult notable for debauchery and licentiousness. Bacchus, eh? That might explain the decent brandy. I was searching for evidence of the earlier temple when you arrived. I found an opening beneath one of the walls over there, leading down into the earth. But it's blocked by a sizable stone. I was hoping to use this post as a lever, but, but it's immovable. What do you think of our fellow guests? I haven't spent much time with them, I'm afraid. I've been poking around out here, mainly. If I could get some idea of the location of other nearby religious sites, I, I expect I'd be off to visit those. I think it would do me good after this place. Mr. Poirot, I'm feeling under the weather. These ruins take it quite out of me, I'm afraid. If you'll excuse me. But of course. This post looks like it was once an orb. But what is its purpose now? No, Hastings. The stage has been carefully prepared. We will not disarrange it until we know why and by whom. There is quite a passage down there. We will need something more than good intentions to shift this stone, however. I say, that looks like one of those doors you find in old monasteries. What do you call them? A monk's door, Hastings. Tightly locked. And the door may be ancient, but that keyhole looks as if it had been recently used. This is a useful point to measure the time it takes to reach Cutter's Cove. The spot that will be the scene of the murder. From Sanctuary Cove to Cutter's Cove, it is 15 minutes. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Hello. I am Hercule Poirot. A fellow guest who has arrived only last night. I'm Linda, Marshall. I'm here with my father and his wife. What about the pile of brush interests you so? It is just a pile of brush, isn't it? You wish it were something else? I was trying to make a blind so the Gilmores would come closer. A hunter's blind? I don't want to hunt them. They're wonderful creatures. I just want to study them. I would offer my assistance, but Poirot knows nothing of blinds, I am afraid. Wait, Poirot. That won't do. Did you make a blind for the girl, or, or didn't you? 
That is to say, I might be able to construct one. You just didn't want to admit you'd done any physical labor. You know nothing about them, but you can build one. Yes. Is it not strange how we can feel such contradictory notions sometimes? Oh, those. I have them all the time. I'm a mass of contradictions. Gimons? The birds? Yes. Do you know about them? I cannot say I do. Hold on, Poirot. I do. Now let the child speak, Hastings. Oh. Oh, rather. They are really quite common. These are of the genus Urea algae. They live in great colonies. They look almost like penguins, don't they? They waddle along and bow to one another. And sometimes they purr, almost like kittens. Good heavens, Poirot. I never thought of it before, but do you know who they remind me of? They are truly marvelous. They seem to like it here very much. The government made it a sanctuary for them. That's what this place is called now. Sanctuary Cove. What brings you to this smuggler's rest hotel? It was Arlena's idea. That's my stepmother. Are you enjoying yourself? No, I hate it. I don't know why we're here. Ah oh well, this summer it is almost past. I think your school it will be starting again soon? Miss Porter's? I suppose so. I wouldn't know. Miss Porter's? Hastings. The name of this school is familiar to me. There is a newspaper account in my files. What do you think of your fellow guests? Miss Darling's nice, and Christine Redfern is too. But I hate her husband. He is unkind to you? No, it's my father I care about. He can't see it, but I can. I see what's happening. It has been a pleasure, mademoiselle. Can you really make a blind? I'm no good at it at all. I... I will try. Thank you. Estings, what have you gotten me into now? Relax, old man. All we really need is some cord, a couple of sturdy posts, and something to anchor it all with. Tent stakes, for example. Tent stakes? On an island with a perfectly good hotel. Why would anyone need tent stakes? Oh, well, I see your point. Hastings? Relax. Tent sticks. On an... Oh, well. Hastings, that attempt is not worthy of you. An interesting idea, that. Pardon, Hastings. I am s Pardon Hastings, but th an interest Perfect. Now let me handle this, Poirot. As you wish. Not a bad blind, if I do say so myself. What are you thinking, Hastings? Warro, he does not climb up and down the ladders? Patrick, darling, you're such a child. Mad enough.
I see what you mean, old man. There is indeed a storm coming. Bien, Hastings. You have made good progress. The principles of the cast have made their entrances. You have explored as much as was possible to me on the morning of August 24th. You have uncovered some of the mysteries that made me uneasy, even then. Did you already know murder was in the wind? It was very clearly indicated, mon cher. Why didn't you stop it? If a person is determined to commit murder, it is not easy to prevent them. I do not blame myself for what happened. It was inevitable. What are my next steps? When you are ready, we will continue our little game. I was able to explore further. Introduce yourself to the residents of Leathercombe. Look for opportunities to assist anyone you can in the village or on the island. They will appreciate your thoughtfulness and will be more likely to help you when you need a favor in return. As before, if you find yourself unable to progress, I will assist with the magic of the Finger of Suspicion. Yes, uncanny, that gadget. I believe you promised me a second clue to unravel its mysteries? Quite right, my friend. The clue is... Lamp. Power. Lamp. Illuminating.